Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Survival Gear and today we're just going to do a bit of uh, petrol de-doming uh, basically I find petrol the best I haven't yet tried the chemical de-doming where they heat it up because to me it sounds a bit, um, I would say, kind of dangerous I don't really have any um, non-gas heating elements either my house is all gas and um, mm. I was going to say you could try the barbecue but uh, the barbecue is also gas so to me um, there's only two methods that I prefer to use. That's hot de-doming, which is fairly quick, uh, but it also still runs the risk of um, stuffing up the uh, bonding wires and also uh, petrol de-doming. Um, you know, you can slice the dome off, which I have done uh, successfully a few times, but that is still a little bit riskier. And then it's really hard to get down all the way to the bottom. So if you want a pure throw heavy light, um, it's kind of hard to get down to the bottom. So what we're going to do today is petrol de-doming. Um, basically, you can take the LED stock as it is and throw it in some petrol if that's what you want to do. Um, I have actually just kind of sliced the bottom of the dome in a few places because I kind of find that these XBG2s are a little bit hard to de-dome still. So you can see I've just got little slices here and there. Uh, that'll help the petrol penetrate better. So at this stage, I could probably just um, just uh, de-dome it by slicing the dome anyway. But yes, we will not be doing that today. I just want to double check that it still works. I just pulled it out of another light. But um, yeah, so this is a XPG2 on a Noctigen board. It is a fairly um, white tint so it's somewhere around 6500 but not the widest tints i've ever seen on a um on a um xpg2 diode mode oops it's diode mode there can't see which one's which so we can see it still works Okay, uh, you can see the dome is already a little bit morphed. Kind of looks a little bit funny. Hopefully it's okay. Um, yeah. For a second there, it kind of looked like the bonding wires were um, kind of sliced. But um, it's actually just where I sliced it. It kind of looks a little bit funny. Okay, so basically now all you want to do is... I've already got one that I prepared earlier. A petrol de-dome jar. Um, I use premium fuel, I don't think it really matters. Uh, premium fuel does have the higher octane, which I don't think matters either, but for me that's just what I have, so that's what I use. Uh, I do have a hot soldering iron on, so let's see, one second. Alright, I'll move the camera back for a sec. You don't need too much petrol. That's more than enough. That's way too much. Um, then we basically, like so, you just dunk the whole LED in. Um, and then we leave it there for as long as we feel fit. Uh, basically, I've taken XML2s out in an hour and the dome has come like straight off. In an, in an hour to an hour and a half. Um, this XPG2 last time was a little bit tougher. I left it in there for a little bit longer. And I found the XPO was ready. But the XPG2 was still a little bit tough to break. So I'm hoping that by slicing around the bottom, um, it'll help the petrol pen penetrate. Um, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. I think if you kind of hot de-dome it, or you slice the de-dome, or you slice the dome, sorry, that um, it'll kind of um, leave you a cleaner beam. But if you put it in petrol, it's a little bit, I would say, safer, touch wood. But... Um, it's kind of might give you a little bit of a yellow hinge or a green hue or something because the chemical uh, the chemical makeup of the petrol changes the chemical layout or makeup of the uh, phosphate layer so the, there's also that to keep in mind um, so basically what's the time now I think I got a it's a long weekend here so it is 7 51 p.m. Um, so you know I'll probably leave it till about 10 
I'll take it out if the dome feels soft I will de-dome it and we'll put it all on camera all right guys so I've been in here for a while soldering it's now um, 10 18 p.m. so I've been in here at least three and a half four hours uh, mucking around with stuff I didn't really get that much done it was a kind of one of those days you know where nothing worked out very well but we all have those days I guess so um, I'll pull this out of the jar with magic tricks I'll see if I can fit anything in there if you do this at home it's probably better to use a jar that's a little bit shorter so like this jar is that big so maybe up to there and with a wide top so um, you can get it out pretty easy um, I'll turn the camera off and I'll come back in a sec alright guys so I took it out I ended up just pouring the petrol out because um, I couldn't fit my fat fingers in there so um, yeah I've got to get a new jar um, but try and use glass I don't think plastic will last that long so um, that's it there so um, obviously now it's still got petrol on it you want to kind of like wash it down with um, alcohol wipes or alcohol something something I'm and I'm looking online on eBay there's a Sydney seller and he's got like one liter for 20 bucks so it's really cheap so you can see uh, it still works glistening um, it's um diode reading is actually really really good it's pretty much right around where you want it so if you guys can see so you can see the light is reflecting off the um, handle there so yeah so that's a really good reading um, and um, you know we won't know until we check out the tint for sure so I'll have this in my uh, Brynight B158 so I want to uh, dedicate a thrower so that's pretty much going to go inside there I'll try and zoom in or show you guys how clean it is I don't really think it's going to focus Nah, it's not, maybe if I put my hand over there like that. Nah, it's pretty hard to see, but, like, it is a really, really clean job. There was no more silicon to take off, so there was no more dome to take off. It came off perfectly clean uh, without having to remove anything, which is what I should say. So, you can see right now that there's no dome on there if I go by this angle, and there's no leftover dome on the sides. Um, that just fell off uh, in the petrol so by slicing it I guess it does kind of help you um, that's the first time that I've sliced mine like that but after my last um, XPG2 was a bit of a pain so I figured this time you know I'll slice it and see how it goes um, so I'm gonna put this away for now because um, long weekend coming up here in Australia so I'm not gonna be home um, but I'll, oh, I wanted to take that build fishing but um, if I can get it done tomorrow, I'll get it done and we'll check out this when I'm away guys and see how it performs. Or else, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time.